Hey everyone, it's Father Sean for another episode of The Couch Chat. And you know, as part of the, the reason for the, the Couch Chat, if you remember, was just to keep everybody up to date on kind of what's going on with the parishes and coming together and kind of changes just to kind of talk through some things. And if you remember back, back in Advent, I, I did one of these videos and uh, wrote a bulletin article about mass times, kind of where we are, what the, the current state is. And, you know, it, it's been about three months, so I figured it's probably about time to do that again, especially we have a pastoral council meeting coming up in March that we're going to kind of wrestle with these, with these questions, with these, with these numbers and, and possibilities. So just want to go through some observations about mass times and since we've had a, a new schedule, the first of July. And so maybe the first thing to notice is, is good news. So our mass attendance has been up um, consistently over the last, over the last um, 16 months. So in October of 2021, our weekly mass attendance between all four parishes, and remember there were seven masses then, uh, now we're at six. So in October 21 was 1,434. And then in October of 2022, that's when we have to submit our counts to the Archdiocese, we were up almost 30 people. So not a ton uh, to, to 1,462. And then this, this past winter, and I, I'm not sure, maybe this is normal for the winter for things to go up a little bit, but just our average between like November and uh, January was 1,573. So 1,573 people. And just as maybe a, a reference, our average uh, mass attendance during before COVID, the October count, I believe that would have been October of, uh, of 2019, was like 1675 or something like that. So we're only about 100 down. So it's not even 10%, which across the archdiocese, that's actually a pretty, a pretty, good, a pretty good place to be. So uh, praise be God for that. Um, so that's one observation. Over the last 16 months, uh, mass attendance has steadily increased, even though we reduced uh, one, one mass time. So that's good. Another observation is um, beginning the first Sunday or the first Saturday in November, the mat, the 4 p.m. Mass at St. Lawrence moved to Immaculate Conception uh, because of the painting happening at St. Lawrence. And we actually just completed that. So for the length of the painting at St. Lawrence, that Mass went up by like 60%. So the, uh, the first few months, like July through October at St. Lawrence, we averaged 149 people. And then while it was at Immaculate Conception, we averaged 239 people. So that's, that's quite a bit of an increase uh, there from 149 to 239. So, so that's just an observation that when it was at IC, it was much higher. Now there's a whole bunch of factors that who knows could be there. That's like basketball season. So going to, going to mass and then the basketball games, that seems like things people do. Um, and maybe when it's, when it's uh, a darker outside, Earlier, you want to go to mass in the in the evening, so you don't have to wake up when it's dark. I, those could all be things, but but similarly with um, light and day and getting darker in the winter, another observation is the Sunday evening mass at St. Lawrence. Since the first of November, really noticeable since the time change in November, has gone down. So 180 to 143 people. So July July through October, there was about 180 people there every time. And then Sunday evening um, from November to January was 143. So that's just one other um, observation. And again, who knows? That could be uh, the length of darkness outside. You know, darkness outside could be like it's just not camping season. People aren't out and out camping all weekend and then need to hit a 6 p.m. mass. Just um, an observation. You know, who knows exactly why? Uh, the next thing to notice is just prime time. So the mo it seems like, and maybe this is like, in, this is just intuitive, but like be mid morning is like prime time. So between nine and 10 a.m. seems to be the most, the most popular times. And I was talking to somebody over the weekend from a different parish who uh, grew up over in a, in a seven parish region in our area. And their parish used to have like a 9 a.m. mass and now it's, it's definitely not that. And uh, he said, you know, and well, seven parishes can't have a 9 a.m. mass and thought, well, that's that's true. But anyways, that's kind of the the prime time there. Just noticing our numbers, especially so the the 930 mass at St. Joseph and the 10 a.m. mass at IC have consistently almost every week uh, 
oh gosh, I could almost say every week, those are our two highest mass, mass attendance. People like to go at those times. And then the last observation is more of a, a qualitative one, is just to notice, you know, not numbers based, but just conversations. Noticing uh, there's still the, the missing a Sunday morning mass at St. John and St. Lawrence, since that hasn't happened since, um, since July. So there's still that kind of desire in, in a number of people to, to have a Sunday morning mass there. And so that's the observation, you know, those are, and there's a whole lot of like what's wise, what you do and, and all of these sorts of things. But uh, just laying out the observations, those are the things pastoral council will be wrestling with uh, in their March meeting. And so just pray, you know, God's will be done. It seems like the Lord is, is leading us uh, so, so patiently, but so firmly. And so just so grateful for that. And, uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll see what he has in store, you know, um, um, uh, yeah. I knew we'd have to wait about a, you know, a year to just see how things, how things kind of settled out with the new mass schedule. And uh, if this isn't, if it needs to be tweaked, uh, we can, we can tweak it. And uh, hopefully once we tweak it, we can find something that is uh, for a number of years will, will work. Uh, because I know, I know for everyone, it's, it's nice just to have consistency, right? Not to be going this time, that time, you know, every year change of mass times can kind of you know, get us all out of sorts. So, so that's basically what we're wrestling with. Just uh, trying to be as transparent as possible. Those are the numbers. Those are the discussions that'll be had. And we'll see what the good Lord has in store because ultimately he's the center of mass. So, all right, well, take care. God bless. Uh, we'll see you at the next couch chat. Uh, this is probably going out on Ash Wednesday. So um, have a great Lent, have a blessed Lent and may you grow closer to our Lord Jesus Christ this Lent. Father Sean for the Couch Chat. See you next week.